presence live, the amazing Armand. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, hello. Oh, okay. Check your mic. Check your mic. See if you're unmuted. Oh, oh all of a sudden we can't hear you. Isn't that great? See, that's the beauty of live. While, uh, while you're sorting out your uh, your technical issues there, I'll just welcome everyone to uh, Rejuvenes TV and uh, to welcome everyone who's joining us. Our TV channel is all about health and wellness and about reconnecting to you. You can find us on our rejuvenes.com to find out more about what we do as your lifestyles architects and also to sign up to any events that we host and uh, to get our newsletter too. So we are broadcasting live from Barbados today, and we have a very, very special guest in the studio today, uh, the wonderful Armand Beasley, who we're hoping that we can actually uh, hear now. Can we have a thumbs up? Can you hear us now? No, we're still no, struggling. Right, unmuted. Well, okay, well, and everything is good well, on our side. Let me just tell you a little bit about Armand. And uh, for those of you that know me, I've been a makeup artist for many, many, many years. I've trained many people all over the world. And um, so for, for me, it's really special to have Armand in the studio with us today. Um, as an international makeup artist, he's a beauty guru and wellness expert. He's also an actor and a producer, but he's probably more well known in the celebrity world for making women and men look absolutely fabulous for the cameras whether that's at the oscars in la uh, or whether it is in, in an exotic shoot in the mediterranean armon is there to uh, ensure that everyone looks absolutely incredible and uh, we're going to share with you today some of his stories he also has an incredible product that he's just launched which we're really excited to be associated with because it's all natural oh, <laughs> <there he is. laughs> oh we can hear you now too now we can hear you. oh you can hear me about I can thank the lord that's great again. we can get the main event going so i'm really excited so uh welcome 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 thank you so much for sharing your time with us Oh, you know what? It's it's my pleasure, absolute pleasure. I just wish I was there uh, in Barbados with you guys. Yeah, well, one day, like, one day we'll get you out here soon. One day, but instead I'm in Manchester, so not quite the same weather. But you know, it's still great that we can do this kind of thing. It is, yes. Well, with your pro body glow, you look like you've been in the Caribbean anyway, so you look very, very well. Yeah. But you know, yeah. and that's the great thing about this. It just gives that wonderful gleam to the skin um but we'll talk about that yeah we'll get into that afterwards tell us a little bit about you and how you ended up uh you know kind of where you are and maybe if you'd like it would be great if you can touch on a little bit about what's going on for you and, and what's been going on for the last year with the, all sure. the shutdowns and the change of life and the change of everything what i mean you look awesome and you always do so what are you doing with the, with the dramatic changes of not being able to live a normal life to living in this lockdown, but maintaining how awesome you look and how awesome you're feeling and, and some of the exciting things that you, you've endeavored into because of this opportunity. I think everything in my life, um, Reg and Sue, I've always fallen into things. So that could be by chance, it could be um, somebody introduces you to something, but I'm very much, um, I'm very receptive to being in the moment i try to be in the moment as much as i possibly can and of course last year was a game changer for everyone it was um a very confusing challenging time for everyone and even with my business i mean i've had my business which is armand international limited for for 20 years now and i, I was on the verge of closing it down last year and you know, I, I was still writing for different magazines, but everything that I was doing from a, a makeup artist and presenter perspective was completely put on hold. So that was, I had lots of plans and uh, trips planned to India because I was hosting Makeup Week uh, in India. So that was in Delhi and also in Mumbai. So I had multiple trips there planned. 
Um, they were all cancelled, of course. Um, I had fashion shoots that were planned, had to be cancelled. Um, lots of live events because I deal a lot with various celebrities from around the world when they come to the UK. They were all cancelled, of course. So I had to rethink things. Um, and it was through a friend of a friend that introduced me to another opportunity that was in London. So I, and it's a, it's a slightly different kind of arena for me, uh, but very, very interesting as well. So I'm also the business development director for an ethical hair brand called Richie Hair UK, and also a beautiful vegan fragrance called Velour Absolute in the UK. And... Um, a brand new salon, which is going to open on April the 12th in London. Wow. Oh, so we've got a, a big reopening. Um, so hopefully we can reopen on April the 12th. So it's been very exciting. And I think if you have that mindset where whatever the challenge, it can be something that can be fantastic, that comes out of something that's quite negative. Um, you know, there's that saying, that famous saying, when through any period of darkness it's the darkest before the dawn and I, I felt as if i don't know really what i'm going to do now but then all, all of a sudden something presented itself to me and it's been really really good so i'm i'm having a really good time to be fair amazing that's well, awesome i i think for many people they have reinvented themselves and, and and we know i mean because obviously you and reg go back many many years um as experts in your field and know that you guys met a long time ago mm. and um i know there's a very spiritual side to you as well have you found yourself really drawing on that yes um meditation is a daily practice for me and whether that is just taking it a little bit extra in the shower and being present in the shower as I massage my head and wash my, my myself. Um, or it's if I'm in my, I've got a little bit of a sacred space um, at home and I do my morning meditation there and practice. If I can do some yoga, I'll do some yoga. But this isn't taking up an hour of my day. It could be, it could range from five minutes to 20 minutes and even 60 on. seconds just breathing I, I, for a minute makes a massive difference absolutely and it's just remembering to be present and and to stop overthinking things and and if i can do that on a daily basis and i try and do that on a daily basis um life is good for me yes. awesome and how about fitness I know you're a very clean eater, so uh, we won't dive into nutrition, but that, on Rejuvenesce TV, we're always covering the 10 vital key areas of life. Mm -hmm. And that's really what uh, Rejuvenesce TV is all about, is looking at all different aspects. Because as you and I have spoken about so many different times, if you just focus on one area of your life, it doesn't work, because eventually mm -hmm. that also is going to break. Right? So when you become aware of the, all the areas and all the different personalities of who you are, uh, and how to maintain the highest level in each department, you know, then all of a sudden life becomes pretty good and uh, we're living in a, in a much better body and having way more fun. So, uh, and I know this is your lifestyle as well, so maybe you can share a little bit about that. Well, I have an 80-20 kind of philosophy. So 80% I'm as good as gold, 20% I'm a little bit naughty. And I feel for me, that works really well. So, and fifteen percent, you're really naughty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, it works really well for me because I am relatively a, a clean eater. I try and have my green juices every day. Um, I do like a bit of intermittent fasting as well. I like my champagne, and so I, I've never smoked. I've never taken any drugs. It's it's so for me, I have that balance of trying to be as active as possible every day, whether that's going for a walk or doing a Zoom class or doing a bit of yoga. Awesome. And it, it makes me feel good. And and also I know you do Reiki as well, right? Crystals and Reiki are a big part of your lifestyle as well. And I think, you know, 
if you are working in a very high octane environment when you're looking after celebrities there you go a lovely piece of amethyst uh, it's beautiful yeah so. no you know crystals are very important to me sue i know we've spoken about this before um but crystal healing and crystal therapy very very important and even on a frequency level for us as human beings crystals have such a incredible impact to us and that's why i um and especially with the amount of emf that's around us the electromagnetic frequency and field we seem to be bombarded all the time we've got the wi-fi we've got microwaves um phone masts are popping up all over the place um there's multiple devices in people's houses so all this frequency can have such a negative impact on our bodies and that's why i think a lot of people struggle to sleep especially if they have their mobile phones or their routers or tvs in their bedrooms because of the frequency that it emits um little things like having a big chunk of amethyst in your living room it's it's the stone of communication amethyst um things like that can work wonders having a, a peace lily i don't know if you can see here i've got a beautiful big peace lily and that's right. next to my tv and peace lilies are brilliant at absorbing um frequency negative frequency so that's a good one to have in your house so just putting things like that into my everyday um life really really helps me to function in the best possible way yeah awesome and yeah i think that you know as i said you know when you are working with the public and you are exposed to you know a very busy lifestyle running your own business you need mm. to have the antidotes around you to be able to support your own well-being to to hold the space for everyone else um i'm sure that you know like like all of us as therapists when you are with other people you know they do really rely on your energy um to be clean to be yeah, yeah. absolutely and and at the end of being with people you actually need things like crystals and plants and you know working with your own energy around the therapies all of those things just to kind of almost to degrease degrease your own energy field so doing something as simple as having an epsom salt bath especially when you've been with a lot of people is so important and that can make you feel so good so um i usually do a little bit of epsom salts with some himalayan crystals in there salt crystals in there um and perhaps some lavender oil and that's really good just before bedtime great for your muscles great to help um detoxify your body and great to help promote a good night's sleep nice well, it's funny uh, that uh, actually covers two of our uh, last two episodes it was about sleeping and environment and that type of thing and uh, morning routines nighttime routines so what is your nighttime routine would you like to share that with us <sighs> what do we do um i tend to have my phone off from about 8 p.m. so i will put it in the other room so it's not in the living room and then i unwind so I either watch a movie um a couple of tv episodes of something on netflix um and then i'm probably in bed by about 10:30 so i tend to go to bed about 10:30 ish i'll have a shower sometimes i'll have a bath um and i sleep very well mm. i i do supplement with magnesium and i find magnesium really really good for me and in fact there's a really good supplement called magnesium nighttime mm -hmm. and i think it's by um a brand called calm assure uh, no nature's plus calm assure it, it's called and that has black cherry in there chamomile um as well as the magnesium and oh my goodness i sleep like a baby nice uh and what is your thoughts on how long you would continue to take one whatever what one type of supplement if if um, you know if somebody's trying to up their magnesium or they're up their vitamin c or up their vitamin d yeah. or whatever iron in the body and you're taking supplements do you feel that there's a timeline on how long you should go before taking a break and then going on to something completely different 
and then can maybe going back to that one a couple of months later? Um, I can only speak personally, but I, I, I go very much on intuition and gut feeling. And if I feel as if I need a little bit of support in a certain area, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, I mean, magnesium, I, I have been taking every night for the past month and I'll probably come off it again now. Mm. Um, with my vitamin C, I normally take about th two to 4,000 a day mm -hmm. um, in vitamin C. Pure, and also vitamin or? D, I take 3,000 IUs every day, mm -hmm. certainly in, in winter time. Yeah, really important. Supplementation, yeah. I think, you know, where there's a lot of stress around and also not enough sunlight, yeah. a lot of the enzymatic processes that are needed to take place in the body, you know, are compromised by the lack of light. So, uh, mm. but I, I love what you said about, you know, going with your gut instinct, your mm. intuition. and. I think on all levels about all things, you know, if you always drive with that, you'll always be spot on, yeah. you know. Yeah. Really and, important. and that brings us really nice to mental health, right? Yes. Because, I mean, that uh, it's all connected. How we feel physically affects us. How we feel uh, energetically affects us. All these different environments that we put ourselves in, but it, it comes down to our perception and how we're able to deal with it at any particular time. So... Yeah, do you think yeah. that we've we've lost touch of our intuition as a society we seem to be so outward thinking and we must have the latest this and we have to have multiple devices on the go yeah we rely on everything some, absolutely everything external but yet we've disconnected with the internal exactly. and i think the answers are all within us really for for most things if we just take time to, to stop and pause and ask ourselves a question, I believe our gut will tell us the answer. We'll know what we need to do. So on that note, what do you do? Is, what is your ultimate vacation, Armand? What, what is, where do you go? Where's your place? Ooh. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, my spiritual home is Egypt, I would say. Oh, wow. Mine too. I've got a really, really strong connection with ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's very, yeah, it's very powerful for me. Certainly Luxor and, um, and Cairo, the two places. So I definitely, when we can get around to traveling again, one place that I would definitely like to do, or one trip that I would like to do is a Nile cruise. Nice. I would love to do that. So um, Egypt's a big place for me, and also Italy is a big, big place for me. I love Italy. Yeah, I agree. And is that where you get your inspiration from as well? Where What inspires you, you know, uh, on, on a, a level of your work, which we'll kind of get round to a little bit about your work, but what really inspires you with your work, mm. what you've been doing recently? People inspire me, just talking to them. And my dreams inspire me as well. Uh, I can have some bizarre and vivid dreams. And, um, and just if I see a color or if I see um, something in my dream, I'll have to either write it down or sketch it or do something. Um, so yeah, my, my dreams and people, just meeting people and chatting to them, seeing what their style is themselves. Um, yeah, I, I get great inspiration from other people. Nice. Amazing. Well, if you have just joined us, um, we are joined by the amazing Armand Beasley today on Rejuvenesce TV. And uh, he's an international makeup artist, uh, beauty and well-being guru and expert. He's also an actor and presenter. And uh, that brings us around to a little bit of, um, tell us a little bit about this photograph. I'm, I'm very keen to find out what was going on here. Share with us. <laughs> well, that was for the the launch, the official launch of Pro Body Glow, which was November, no, October 2019. And this image is from a trade show called Professional Beauty. And I decided to launch Pro Body Glow there. Now, Pro Body Glow is a 100% natural, high shine nourishing body balm. 
and I've got two models here and uh, they're both sporting the glow and it's there's no glitter in there um, there you can see the tins and and it's a nice size as well it's about 85 grams so you can take it on a flight with you you can travel with it it's an aluminium tin I want a sustainability to be at the heart of the brand so you've got a few little famous faces there Catherine Tilsley um, uh, Seema from The Real Housewives of Cheshire, TV presenter Jenny Powell, and um, I don't know who that dodgy guy and is. And of course, the, the most important in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, and these celebrities that are taking these pictures, none of them are paid. They don't, they're not paid to endorse the product. They take a picture and they infuse about it if they love it and i've been very fortunate that everybody that's tried it has really loved it so nice. i feel very privileged about that yeah i can't nice. wait to try it too which yeah. is really really an exciting so what's to... happening with shipping then around the world are you able to have uh, have things transported because we hear a little bit about the mm -hmm. issues some companies are having um i think europe is a difficult one for the uk at the moment because of brexit the dreaded b word yeah. And but we've got Pro Body Glow. Um, I know you guys have got a link to Pro Body Glow for us. Yes. There we go. Um, Perfect timing. So that it can be within the UK. It's free shipping, so free PMP. Um, so that's if you, if anybody who's interested goes on the link uh, for Rejuvenesce, you'll see the uh, Pro Body Glow link. You can buy it there, and. Um, Usually it's twenty nine ninety nine, but for you guys it's twenty four ninety nine. Thank you. Because we love you, so thank you for supporting we love me. You too. And it's you'll find that yeah, you, we can get it to you, including PMP for twenty four ninety nine. In Europe, um, there is a posting and packaging, and also for the Caribbean, there's a PMP charge, and, and internationally there's a PMP charge. But it's gorgeous, and you really don't need a lot. And I know, I don't know if I told you the story about why I created it in the first place, but I got inspired by a client of mine who's the actress Goldie Horn, And I was getting her ready for uh, an event in London. And I, I wanted to put something on her legs that would give her a nice sheen to the legs, but would also give a little bit of nourishment. And in the end, I had to use about two or three actually three or four products that could do that and I said I wish there was just one thing that I could just use on the skin that would look amazing and Goldie said well honey just create it so I thought okay I wonder if I can do that and then it was just a chance meeting of a um at a, an event with somebody who had a company called Buzz Balm Beauty and we were talking about product he had a lovely lip balm he asked if I wanted to try it. I tried it. It was really nice. And I said, would you be interested in working on something? And so a year later, 50 formulations later, we've got Pro Body Glow. And it's, a, as you can see, it's almost like a, a pale yellowy mm. balm. And it's quite dense. And then you just put a tiny bit. You don't need a lot, a little glows a long way now i don't know whether because of this light if i switch this light off can you see yeah we can see yeah. that perfectly well yep yeah, so there so i just put the, the bit of the product on there and then just massaging it on it gives this beautiful sheen to the skin but it also nourishes the skin as well so anybody that maybe is eczema prone um has a lot of dry skin perhaps has um dry elbows shins um if you want to put it on the decollete you can put it on the chest of the decollete it's really versatile and it's great as well just on the cheekbones so you can mix it with your makeup as well and it just gives this as you can see i've just put some here you don't like and it just comes straight out of the water <laughs> <laughs> and it really Amazing looks, it doesn't feel greasy, <laughs> but it doesn't feel greasy at all. And you don't have to have olive skin. Obviously, I've got olive skin, so 
um, even for fairer skin types, um, if you're really, really fair, it will just make your skin look like glass. And that yeah. is a big trend um, for this season as well, that kind of glass effect skin. And you can, as I said, use it on the cheekbones. It's great for men, great for women. And even if you've got very dry hair, you can use it on the hair tips. Mm. Mm. So you yeah. had mentioned you, you've developed this. So did you uh, get into the quantums of it at all or the nanotechnology mm. that everybody seems to be talking about now these days? with the, using the live plants and those type of things? Um, so what we tend to do with the, for example, with the frankincense, there's only six ingredients in this. So you've got uh, olive oil and you've got um, organic extra virgin olive oil. And then you have um, an ingredient called melixia. Now melixia is our trademarked ingredient and it's um, a unique fermentation of UK honey from flow hives. So that means that the, the hives are never damaged, the bees are never damaged or traumatized when the honey is extracted. And um, bee pollen. So that is a special fermentation which is really good for the microbiome of the skin. And then you've got um, organic beeswax in there. And you've got propolis in there which is a really in incredible resin that's like an antibacterial resin and then frankincense now with frankincense we use as much of the frankincense as we possibly can so it's not just the essential oil that's used we use as much of it as possible and with the frankincense that is fantastic for regeneration of the skin so for people who perhaps um, if they've had a baby or they're having a baby stretch marks some people have said that it's made um, quite a difference to their stretch marks Amazing. So, yeah, I mean, I worked very closely with um, Anthony Metters, who's the founder of Buzz Barn, and he's also an organic beekeeper. So wow, he's a scientist cool. by day in his daytime job, and then he's also an organic beekeeper. So that he's so sense, passionate. It? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's so passionate about the bees, and that's why even though it's not a vegan product, um, I've called it a vegan product because we, we follow the principles of um, helping to be as kind and as compassionate to the animals as possible. Um, so we don't damage the hives. The bee is not um, in, intensively farmed beef uh, with, with the beekeeping because with a lot of products that have bee ingredients you can find if they've been intensively farmed that the queen bee's wings are cut so she can't leave the hive and it's appalling so she's there she, she will never be able to fly away from the hive so they're the pitfalls with with some of other products that perhaps have bee ingredients in so with us, we were very, very adamant um, and very determined to make a product that was cruelty-free and as ethical as possible. And you've got, you talk about Melixia. So M-E-L-I-X-I-R. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's the um, unique fermentation that we've created. So it's trademarked to us. And it's the UK flow um, from the flow hive it's the honey from the flow hive in the uk and um it's also uh you've got organic bee pollen in there as well so you've got the bee pollen and you've got the um, honey from the flow hive and it's a special fermentation and that helps to give you that wonderful um density which is brilliant at helping to support the microbiome and that gives that smoothness Lovely. And, and even the application is biodegradable as well, isn't it? That can be used, so. I know, it's, it's like as if you're shopping from Hagen or something like that. <laughs> You know, like a little yogurt or a little... Yeah, it looks um, really cute. I think the important thing is, is that you're using sustainable, um, you know, beekeeping, which is, you know, so many people now are having their own bees and certainly in... Oh, the video. I think in it's a video. Here, right? In certain cities, etc. So, um, we love this video that you've got. 
Oh, thank you. Well, with Talk this, a I mean, bit through it, if you like. Well, you've got here. We go examples of the the hive, and there the olives. A little bit of frankincense in there. So we wanted to highlight the ingredients that we've got supporting our product. Um, this is a former Miss Manchester, so um, a beautiful model called Fats. So she's our model for Pro Body Glow, and um, I mean she's being very generous there. You really only a fraction of the amount that you need, but you do get smooth, glossy glow with it. And for some people who don't want the glossiness to it, you can just use a tiny, tiny amount just to nourish the skin. But you can definitely see the before and after that. You can see you really can. just how the light hits it. There's no wizardry, no special lighting for this. What you see is what you get. Um, and definitely one thing for this, I think, from, two, two, well, from 2020, I feel that even though people haven't been going out, it's more important than ever that people spend time on themselves. Self-care is so important. And that ritual of just applying your moisturizer, applying your body products, giving yourself a little bit of self-love is so important and so therapeutic. And we need it, especially when there's been such a narrative of fear that's been driven for the past year. You know, you've got some people that are, are too scared to even come out the front door. So to have that little bit of time for themselves where they can put something on, they can feel good, they can feel special, they can feel beautiful, um, I think is really important. And we need that little bit of time to do that. Yeah. And that can only, as you said, Reg, it can be one minute, it can be yeah. one hour, whether it's breathing correctly, whether it's just spending time just putting that product on exactly. and just... Appreciating who time you are as a person, Le learning to love yourself again and reconnecting with yourself. For you know, sure. It's amazing. Most people that they come across, especially the ones that uh, require coaching, you know, it's almost like they forget that they're in a body or that they have, yeah. you know, other parts of other aspects of who they are as an individual because they're so narrow focused on that. They don't give themselves any self love at all. It's just focused. And, uh, and what's interesting, I think. Uh, a lot of people spend time either in front of a mirror or taking selfies and they see that either their reflection of what they or what they take as a selfie as themselves yes what think i think people have forgotten what to do is just close your eyes and feel and touch yourself and connect that way um and that can be very very powerful because i agree uh, I, sorry, I do I think a lot of people the, uh... Sorry, sorry, we've got a little bit of a lag. I didn't mean to cut you off. Carry on. No, 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 don't worry. I was just saying, I, I think a lot of people have a living through the eyes of an iPhone or Instagram or a selfie, and they've, they've not, they're not seeing themselves uh, or feeling themselves um, in the way that perhaps they should be. They're just seeing a certain version of themselves. Yes, totally agree. We totally agree. And we've developed a course called Body Wisdom, and uh, it's re reconnecting with yourself. And I, I do this as a therapist when I'm with, with a client, because I never work on somebody. I work with yeah. them. And all the way through the treatments of doing any kind of hands-on work, it's, it's engaging the mind and the body and me and them together and what's happening in the body and getting them to take control. Right. And, you know, it's similar to yoga or similar to di these different things. But again, like you say, you're, you're doing it as an outward thing. It's a conscious thing rather than coming mm -hmm. in and going, hey, this body's mine. And if I've got a tight spot in the neck here, I wonder why I've got a tight knot in the, in the neck. And what is that connected to? Yes. Right. Yeah. And, re and then just actually taking a few moments. You know, like you said, one of one of the rituals you do is, is to, you know, take some time for yourself, whatever it is. I've got one very similar where I just take that time and I go into my body and, I, and it's, it's my conscious mind taking control of the physical because this is my physical. Yes. And it's just like driving a car. You can be the passenger in the car or you can drive it. Yeah. Or you can be the passenger and you driving it. <laughs> yeah, you can be the passenger. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's so true. And, and even breathing. I mean, breathing, we've spoken about breathing before, but that is so many people still shallow breathe they don't they don't connect with visualizing the breath coming in through the nose and the journey of the breath and even just 
following the journey of the breath, it could take seconds or a minute, yeah. and you, you've, that's your meditation because you've connected, yeah. you've just been completely present with that cycle of breath and what it can do for the body and just feeling your chest and your, the stomach go up and down and the belly go up mm. and down is so therapeutic. Absolutely. And obviously, you know, your, your passion is, is acting. And um, tell us a little bit about that, obviously, with, with acting and breathing. That's really important. Well, I, I always wanted to be an actor. So my story really was I, I studied acting. I went to performing arts and I did um, a, a course in acting here in, in the UK, um, in North Manchester. And then after I, I, I completed the course and I graduated, I then went from, I got myself an agent quite quickly. Um, and I also did a stint at the um, Edinburgh Fringe Festival. So we won an award for the best new musical on the fringe. And this musical was a musical about Helen Keller. Okay. You know the, uh, yeah, so. Yes. The very famous young girl who was blind, uh, she was deaf, um, she couldn't speak, um, and it was her life story, but it was done as a musical. I mean, it was, it was incredible, but it was, it was very odd, the whole premise of it, but it worked. And so we won an award for that. I came off tour. I needed to make some money. And um, in between... Whilst I was doing that as well, I'd also, um, I was working in a, a pub in Salford. And the company that we were work that I was performing with had this pub. And it was a little bit like, um, it was like the Kids from Fame meets, um, <laughs> meets Rod Hull's pink windmill thing. Do you remember? It was, it was a thing in the 80s where it was, Rod Hull's Emu's World, and it was all yes. these kids in this house. That was a little bit like us, but very odd again. Um, so we were working in this pub, and then also performing, and I was doing that, and that was great. It was a great learning curve for me, and we were touring, etc. But I came off tour one day. I needed to make some proper money. I was talking to a girl that worked in a department store in Manchester called Kendall's, and within a week, I had a job working for Clinique. No experience in cosmetics. Um, no real passion for it, really. I was just doing this job to give me some more money to go for auditions and castings and stuff. And, um, but I started to fall in love with it. And I then went from Clinique to Yves Saint Laurent, and from Yves Saint Laurent, I became Givenchy's makeup artist. And this all happened within about four years. So it was a very quick acceleration of my career. And I was starting to do stuff for Harper's and Queen magazine. Um, I was being interviewed by Vogue and stuff, which was great. And then I trained in every major cosmetic company. I set up my personal beauty studio in Manchester and I wasn't affiliated to any one brand and then that's when I met one of the producers for GMTV I left House of Fraser I started to build up a little bit of a showreel for bits and pieces that I was doing on local TV as a, a local um, beauty expert because I wasn't affiliated to any one brand and I sent this show reel to GMTV and then I ended up on GMTV. And then I was doing weekly shows for them as their beauty presenter, doing makeovers and all sorts of stuff. So that encompassed uh, um, skincare, makeup, fragrance. And that was great. It was a really brilliant learning curve for me doing GMTV. Then that took me to do the Oscars. And then from the Oscars, I did BAFTA and all sorts of other award shows, getting various celebrities red carpet ready. But each step of the way was never planned. It was just uh, an opportunity presented itself. And I just said yes, kept saying yes all the time, 
whether I thought I could do it or not. So I said, oh, yeah, 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 that'd be great fun. Let's do it. And I think that's an awesome way to live life. But you know, it's just finding the joy. And it was something that you can either see fear as something that's very, very scary, or you can see fear as excitement. And some of the time I I saw the fear of I saw the fear being quite exciting and quite tantalizing. And I thought, yeah, that would be really good. It'd be terrifying, but that'd be amazing. Yeah, let's do live TV and I've never done it before. That would be brilliant. And all these just started to happen. And so with the acting, I moved away from that to go into this field. But then about 2003, 2004, uh, I got a new agent, um, a mutual friend of my, uh, a friend of a friend. She, um, she's an actress and she recommended an agent. So I went to see her. I got on their books. And then I, I did Emma Dale, and then I did Coronation Street, and um, I did a couple of movies as well. Only very small parts, but it was really, it was really, really great fun. And I've just changed um, my headshots now, so for spotlight. So um, I'm really excited with my agent now for for new possibilities and new opportunities. I just love getting into under the skin of a character. I really, I still love it. I still love doing what I do with makeup and beauty and, and presenting, but I love acting. And who is your favorite actress or actor that you have worked with? You mm. mentioned Goldie Hawn, you know, as an inspiration behind Pro Body Glow. Who else do you love working with that's a favorite Ooh. of yours? Oh, okay. Um, that's a really tough one because it's like, choosing one of because your they favorite might be children listening and if you don't mention them yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, All of I, them. i'm very i'm very fortunate that a lot of the actors and um celebrities that i've worked with have become fairly close which has been great goldie i've worked with goldie now for about 12 13 years um shabna galati i think um there may be an image of me putting some pro body glow on Shobna's arm. Um, I don't know if you've got that one, but Shobna is a very dear friend of mine. I've known her for 20 years and she, people will remember her from um, Coronation Street and also from Dinner Ladies, that lovely Victoria Wood sitcom. Um, and in fact, she just shot the movie for everybody's talking about Jamie. So she's just done a big Hollywood movie. So she's a really close friend, Catherine Tilsley, who is, she played Eva on Coronation Street. She's a close friend, Angela Griffin. I did her makeup for her wedding. Um, so yeah, there's quite, it's quite a few that I am close to. Kim Marsh as well is, is great. She's another big fan of Pro Body Glow. She did this really sweet video on, on Pro Body Glow's Instagram. You can see a lovely video of Kim just putting on the Pro Body Glow and, and just enthusing about it. And that's, I didn't ask her to do that. She just did it and sent it over to me. She said, I think it's great. So. And do you good. find that more and more people that you are with are very conscious about what they're using on their skin, their brands, they want to know the ingredients? they're more conscious about the environmental impact. I know, I know with my clients, you know, it's a big thing. It has been for many years, but I think it's probably because that's the audience I attract. I don't want to put anything on anyone that's going to be detrimental because whatever's on is going to go in. Um, yeah. And, you know, have you had the same experience? Um, yes. So I... I started getting into um, being inquisitive about ingredients, probably when I started doing the stuff for House of Fraser. So that's 20 years ago now. Um, being trained in each cosmetic house, I wanted to know what the USP of the product was. So I started getting more and more involved with ingredients. And then certainly the last 12 years, um, I am more conscious about what I put on my client's skin as well as what I put on my own. 
and it is that eight to twenty rule. You know, as a makeup artist, it's very difficult to to um, to have access to really good brands that perhaps don't have silicones in there, dimethicone, or I mean, you'll know this too. Um, so you have to allow for some synthetics and and so i i personally would rather have a very um natural but um but focused and targeted skincare routine and then i can allow a little bit of leeway when it comes to makeup so one of my favorite brands and i don't know i don't know see if you tried there's a brand called skinergy I'll just try and cover that so you can i don't know if you can see that yeah, so Skinergy, and um, these are a British brand, husband and wife team from Kent, and this is the Ilexia, and it's amazing. And what I love about the Ilexia, and what I love about this brand, they use all sorts of macerations um, in there. They use try and use as much British ingredients as possible, so whether that is seaweed from the Isle of Butte or um, uh, ingredients that they've grown from their extensive gardens. But I love it. And you'll find that with this as well, it's certified organic and also vegan. So there's no real synthetics in this, which is great. So I tend to, with my clients, I'll try and steer them towards this kind of skincare first of all. And then with makeup, we you know we can we can cut corners a little bit. So you can use a foundation that has got dimethicone in there, so you've got that smoothness. Um, but I, I try to steer away from anything with uh, petrochemicals in there and mineral oils. Yeah. And and when you are doing somebody's makeup, what is the one product that you always always use? It's like your go-to special. Product oh, that you do. Two. Oh, um, here's one. Well, okay, I've got one here. I just brought a few products around me anyway because I, I thought you may ask something like this. Well, you know me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, this is um, this is a product called by uh, Inica. So the brand is Inica Organic. Have you tried this, Sue? Yeah, I have. I love it. Yeah. So. The powder foundation, you've got an SPF 25 in here. Um, it's fantastic, really good. And you literally just buff it on. So there's no talc in there. It's mica-based and, and also got zinc oxides in there as well. So really good as a, a natural sunscreen too. So you've got the, um, the physical barrier in there too. But there's about 15 different shades. So there's something for everyone. And because it's a mineral powder, it's great for men, great for women. So when I do TV normally, I will probably wear this. Um, for my male clients, male celebrities, I put this on them as well because you can't really tell that people are wearing makeup. Yeah. So this is probably one of my favorite products. Mm -hmm. And there's a mascara as well um, by Imani, E-M-A-N-I. And they're a vegan brand, and it's called Double Lash Growth Mascara. Really good, especially for mature women if they've got quite sparse, sparse lashes and they need something to help stimulate lash growth. That's a great product. Mm, that's lovely. All these, all these delicious ideas. And what about the trends for this summer? I mean, you know, people are going to come out after lockdown and suddenly they're going to have to get out of their slippers and their PJs and put some makeup on. <laughs> um, people, we're all we're all dressed from like you know the top but not the bottom you know the amount of times i'm on zoom and you know haven't got dressed properly so i think a lot of people are going to be conscious when they go back into the world again about you know what's what's the look of the season what what are we meant to be looking like what what is in and trendy what what are you thinking where's it steering Wait, what are you kind of creating for this yeah this summer well, I definitely think um, glass-like skin is going to be very, very big. So it's, a, it's about people's complexions. And I think one of the things that 2020 has, has shown to us 
because of people wearing face masks, they're getting a lot of blemishes around the mouth area, um, marks that maybe they're not cleansing their skin properly. So the attention to skin is really big. So that's, I would always recommend people to have a decent cleanser. Um, people shouldn't be using face wipes anyway um, in this day and age. They end up in landfill. Um, they just move the dirt around. It's no good for anyone, really. So invest in a really good cleanser. And then, in fact, there's a cleanser by um, Skinergy, these people again, SKN hyphen RG. And they have a really good cleanser called Flash Balm. And the Flash Balm, I use it on all the models. And it's got kombucha in there, which really helps to... Um, helps to nourish the skin and brighten the skin but also it's a really good probiotic for the skin too so you've got great ingredients in there so that will dissolve the makeup and then any kind of residue that's left on there from a flash bomb almost acts like a face mask so i think people will be investing more on their skin and i think it's going to be a period of complete indulgence I think anything goes. People will be dressing up to the max. So you'll have everybody going all out to wear as much of what they can as possible. And when it comes to makeup, um, lots of colour on the eyes. People are investing already in these beautiful eye palettes. So this one here, this is by Marc Jacobs. So um, another cruelty-free brand. Another thing that I made a conscious decision to do is to be a cruelty-free makeup artist. So um, all the brands that I recommend uh, are not sold in, my, in mainland China or in any territory where, where uh, testing is mandatory on animals. So Marc Jacobs is a great brand. And You've got some gorgeous glide shadows here. Urban Decay, another good brand. So people, I think, are going to be experimenting more with their eyes. Lots of bright liquid liners to contrast against these earthy tones. And um, lip stains rather than glosses. Because people will probably still be wearing a face mask. We don't know what's going to happen when um, restrictions are lifted. So lip stains rather than lip glosses. So people have moved away from lip glosses. Yeah, I totally, totally agree. And uh, yes, I, I totally agree with you that so many people have said to me, you know, having treatments and stuff, that they're so congested around their mouth because they're breathing in their own carbon dioxide. So there's lots of, you know, there's lots of bacteria involved in that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, away with that and out with the lips is what we're saying. Colloidal silver is another good thing. If people have got colloidal silver as a spray, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's really, really good. And also, we, we've always said to you know our clients to put in one drop of either uh, Raven Zara, which is an essential oil. It's part of the tea tree mm -hmm. family. And you just put one drop in your face mask so that when you are breathing in, it's actually antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral. Um, you can use tea tree. And you can use a tiny bit of peppermint as well, because a lot of people, by wearing those face masks, they get um, headaches because they're not getting enough oxygen. In. And we've already discussed today how important, you know, the breath is. So mm -hmm. when you're deprived of oxygen, um, it can give people a headache. It can make yeah. people really sick. But however, at the same time, this is gives people an opportunity to, to kind of take control on what they're breathing. Yeah. Because if yeah. you're forced to wear a face mask, awesome. Make, make use of it. You know, yeah. when we were on the airplane, we were nine hours. And generally on an airplane, you know, you come off and you feel like crap afterwards because of the air quality that's there or whatever else is going on. But we made sure that uh, every half an hour, 45 minutes, we put a drop of a different essential oil into the mask. And I actually enjoyed wearing it by the end of the flight, which was over nine hours. We felt awesome. Like, I mean, it was almost euphoric. And, uh, you know, and, I and think that's a great idea. Happened. Yeah. Yeah. Such yeah. a good idea, that, guys, to put a little bit of essential oil into your face mask. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
Wow. Well, we've just covered so many topics. We could speak to you all day. And, uh, we're so, so grateful for your, uh, your time, your generous time today and, and, you know, your wise words of wisdom. And uh, We're so excited about the uh, Pro Body Glow and, you know, would encourage everyone to uh, either go on directly onto the website of, uh, which is running at the bottom of the screen, uh, you can also go on to our Rejuvenesse website at rejuvenesse.com and uh, we will have it listed there as one of our favourite products as we build our, uh, our shop, if you like, of all our guests and all the people that we love and all our specialists and practitioners and teachers and trainers around the world um, as we affiliate ourselves with people of like-mindedness to uh, really support each other in a community right when everyone needs it right now you know we, we need to gather together look after each other find our tribe and uh, ensure that we're all really looking after each other looking after this planet and looking after this new world that we find ourselves living in and uh, we're very grateful for you Armand coming on today and you know sharing all these fabulous fabulous tips and, and where we should be uh, thinking what we should be thinking about so uh, Fantastic. Uh, so very grateful, so very great. grateful. We'd love to have you back on. And, uh, you know, we're talking about a little bit of business opportunities together and different things that can happen. So we're definitely going to be seeing more of you. And we really look forward to that. And, uh, and we wish you well, you and your family oh, and everybody on your side. And we're very grateful for all your wisdom that you shared with us. You know what? I think one of the benefits of, of these lockdowns and what's been going on is we are finding the people, we are finding each other, our tribe, as you said. And so I feel very blessed that we've reconnected, Reg, and that I've met you, Sue. And yes, you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. And thank you so much for um, for letting me to come on and have a chat with you guys. Awesome. It's totally Wonderful. been our pleasure. Yes. So uh, we'd like to say thank you to everyone who shared their time and space with us today on Rejuvenesce TV. We'll be back with you on Monday. We have guests on Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Friday. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, Monday, same time. Friday. Right? Uh, same time, same place. We're going to be going out into Barbados and supporting the Barbadian community next week and discovering more people who have really got incredible, incredible products and businesses and really want to share with the world, you know, this global community that we're building through health and wellness, through reconnecting with yourself and always being mindful that everything affects everything so for me and for me reg lenny goodbye, goodbye. And thank you